we have this spool of plastic on which we will keep this thermocol piece and slide it and so the question is if the wheel moves one feet how much will this piece move let's see so we will first place this piece on the spool and move the piece forward Notice that at the front end of the piece and the spool is at the same point as the piece. So now when we move the wheel, the piece starts moving forward than the wheel. Now when we make the measurement, we can see that the wheel has moved equal to the length of the piece while the piece has moved two times. This is very counterintuitive as if the passenger on the car has moved further than the car. This is exactly how in olden times people used to move large pieces of stone taking advantage of this fact. Now this happens because the piece on top is sitting on the outer surface of the wheel and hence gets two different kinds of motion. It goes twice because it moves as much as the wheel moves forward and also moves forward because of the spin of the wheel. So the speed of the piece and the distance covered by the piece is twice that of the wheel. Yes, we can. Now we can see that the piece is sitting on the outer circle while the wheel is spinning on the inner circle. So in one turn of the wheel, the wheel moves proportional to the inner diameter. But the piece moves as much as the wheel and extra proportional to the outer diameter on which it is sitting. Now the inner diameter of the wheel is 6 cm, outer is 12. And so the piece moves 3 times as the wheel. And the formula is 1 plus diameter on which the piece moves divided by the diameter on which the wheel spins. So 1 plus 12 by 6 is 3. In the former case, diameter of the wheel on which it spins and the diameter of the piece is the same. And so the wheel moves 1 plus 12 by 12, which is 2. And hence, when we keep the piece very close to the center of the wheel, just like in a car, the piece will go as much as the wheel. 1 plus 0 by diameter of the wheel is 1. Hope you enjoyed the spinning wheel. Thank you.